My name is Peter Zimbor, joined alongside with my broadcast partner, Dan Horgan. Who coincidentally is training fighters now in Florida, where John Duddy has been training for this bout with Pat Burns. They actually ran into each other. And he got a good left hook by John Duddy. He staggered Charles Howe. Duddy is trying to finish the show. Harles is hanging on Duddy. It continues to throw punches. I think it is clear so far that Duddy is the stronger of the fighters. He has Howe's attention with the left hook. A nice flurry set up that left hook. Duddy's hands look very fast tonight. They did not look fast back in March when he fought Walter Smith. Well, tonight, John Duddy in complete control thus far. Well, another good round for John Duddy, and he's capping off the round with a flurry of punches. He just hit Howe with clean punches. About four consecutive punches landing cleanly on Charles Howe, and an exclamation point by John Duddy to Howe. finish off that round. Howe was definitely hurt, Peter. Well, Duddy gave him a taste at the end of round number five. Let's see what he can do here in round number six. He's got Howe in the corner, and he's landing cleanly again. More body shots. He snapped the head back of Charles Howe. And a couple of uppercuts by John Duddy. Howe is covering up. And Duddy looks like just got caught with the right himself. And Duddy lands cleanly with the right hook. Charles Howe still standing, though. Give Howe credit. He's being very game in there. Yeah, you got to give credit where credit is due, Charles Howe. Doing it all. He has remaining upright, firing back when he can. But John Duddy is landing cleanly more and more often as this fight progresses. And wild uppercut misses by Howe. Good work by Duddy. Right hand lands on the side of the head of Charles Howe. Howe now up against the ropes. Duddy working on him, trying to finish him off. And Duddy throwing crisp punches. Dana Rosenblatt, who was a top 10 middleweight and super middleweight for a long time, really gained himself a lot of fans and got a lot of interest in boxing. John Duddy, oh, lands a right uppercut and a left hook to Charles Howe. But John Duddy, certainly getting the interest of the Irish community here in Boston and getting himself fans all across the United States and worldwide. Well, there you go, Howe's up against the ropes. Duddy fires a combination to the body. Hits with the jab to the left. Left jab to the face, John H Duddy now with Howe on the ropes. Trying to fire more punches than he has up until this point in the evening while he's had Howe on the ropes. I take back what I said about the rope thing, Peter. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe Duddy heard you, though I doubt it with all the chanting and cheering of his fans. And John Duddy, once again, it looks like he buckled the knees of Charles Howe with the right hand. John Duddy is throwing 95 mile per hour fastballs and Charles Howe is catching every one of them. And Charles Howe might go down any moment now. John Duddy landing some clean punches on Charles Howe. He's got Howe up against the ropes and they clinch. And now Charles Howe perhaps with a rabbit punch. The referee warns him John Duddy doesn't like the rabbit punch. Howe back up against the ropes. Duddy working with the left. Is he going to fire off one of those furious combinations again? We'll see. The crowd here in Boston is into it. We're coming to a close of round 10 rather soon. And that is the final bell. John Duddy with a very good performance against Charles Howe. And John, I don't think there's any other way to see it. That was a 10-round shutout unanimous decision by Ireland's John Duddy. Very good performance. Very impressive by John Duddy tonight. Well, no surprises here. John Duddy takes the decision as a shuttle on all three judges' scorecards. Duddy looked very good tonight. He showed a lot of skills in the ring that he hasn't shown before. He needed this win. He needed 10 rounds under his belt. 
in order to sharpen his skills. I think tonight was the perfect night to do that. He was able to capitalize on the forum to do so. We'd like to thank our partners at secondsout.com along with boxingherald.com as one of the world's best fight